Hey there guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're talking about the Aura Ring, the new uh, heart rate tracking feature with the Aura Ring Gen 3. Uh, this is my Aura Ring Gen 3. As you can see, I have the silver edition on right now. It doesn't look a whole lot different than the Gen 2. I just made a full video on my first impressions in the unboxing, so if you wanna check that out, I'll leave a card up in the upper right corner. Um, but yeah, we're diving into the app right now and I just wanna talk a little bit about my thoughts on the app so far. So at first glance, this is what you'll see. You have this heart rate graph, and this is a little bit different than what it used to be. It used to just be that it would track your heart rate at night and it would get a general understanding of how active you are throughout the day, but it wouldn't give you a uh, hourly tracking like this where you can scrub along a timeline and you can see your heart rate ranges throughout the day. That wasn't something that it did before. So this whole area of the app is a new concept. They have this restorative time feature as well that they've added to try to show where you're actually getting some relaxed time in, which can be important for recovery for the high performance athletes that tend to use the Aura Ring. Um, so that's kind of nice. It also shows sleeping and then it just shows daytime as these gray. And you get your highs and your lows, as you can see here at like two o'clock. I had a 105 BPM high and a 72 BPM low. And then if you scroll down, it'll show you lowest average as well. And you can click into that and it's going to give you even more details as to like when that happened and what your, what your patterns look like. And the nice thing about the Aura Ring app is it's actually allowing you now to hit learn more on a lot of these things and you can scroll through and you can see all the different types of heart rate trends that normally happen so that you understand exactly what you're going through and what you're looking at and then you can make an educated decision as to what you're going to do next to fix that. So I found that this is super helpful. It gives you di these different um, shapes to look out for and it tells you all about what that could mean. And if I go into restorative time, hit learn more here, it's going to give us a ton of information about that as well and how to achieve more restorative time. So looking at today, what I might notice is right now I am starting to decline my heart rate. Usually I get kind of like a, um, a bell curve on my heart rate. So if I go into daytime here and I hit learn more, I wanna look for something that looks like a bell curve. So I would say that this bridge or the camel, one of the two probably uh, most closely mirrors the patterns that I've personally been seeing. So let's see what that means for me. So the camel, this shape is aligned with our natural 24 hour rhythm. It represents a day in which you, we activate in the morning, break to refuel in the afternoon, and then wind down in time for bed. You may find your heart rate at its lowest in the morning or evening. Okay, that, that makes a lot of sense. I've seen a lot of that. There's also the bridge. Getting active right away in the morning is a good way to wake yourself up, but for some people, easing into the day may be better approach. If you start feeling too tired early in the afternoon, a short break after morning activities can be a great way to refuel, re-energize, and recalibrate your focus. You may find your lowest resting heart rate in the evening after finally winding down. So what I can take from the advice that they've given and like the explanation that they've given on the camel is one, my heart rate is pretty typical of, you know, uh, the normal trends that you see with the heart rate. But number two, it might be beneficial to take more breaks since I have those uh, activation uh, upticks in the morning where my heart rate shoots up directly in the morning and then uh, kind of tapers down throughout the day. Maybe if I want to get more of these camel days where I have that second kick of energy later in the day, I can start to rest throughout the middle of the day and maybe have a little bit of a break around you know, that, that uh, midday slump. Maybe that's a good time to take a nap or meditate or do something that's super low frequency and just get away from all of the stress. All right, that is that. If you have any questions on the Aura Ring Gen 3, I can try my best to answer them. Uh, most of my answers will be opinionated. Um, I'm, I'm not an Aura Ring support staff, so I can't give you, you know, 100% certain answers on everything, but I can offer some guidance and share my experience as a three year plus Aura Ring user and uh, hopefully I can answer your questions. Also, uh, to the left of this video right now, you will see a playlist pop up and that's going to include all of my Aura Ring videos that I create. So if you click on that playlist, you can check out the other Aura Ring Gen 3 videos that I'm making. And above that, you'll see a subscribe button. It's just that little me emoji. 
uh, the little virtual image of myself. So if you click on that, you can subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notification if you wanna be notified about future Aura Ring videos. And with that, I hope you enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next one.